What's up guys, Devil Dog Gamer here, and today we are playing the Arma 3 Creator DLC, Sog Prairie Fire. This is the Vietnam DLC uh, that everyone's been waiting for and everyone's been super excited for. This is a pre-release version I've been playing for about a week, and as someone who played a lot of Unsung, I like a lot of things with this. And we're going to kind of go through the editor and show off some stuff, and then we're, we'll end up doing some other videos about all the single player and the co-op. This is a lot of potential, a lot of really cool stuff. We will be comparing it to Unsung a bit here and there because Unsung has just been a staple in Arma for a very long time. And, um, you know, this is the same time period. But this is pretty cool. We're going to jump in the editor, show off the map, show off some of the units, and uh, show you what to expect. Into the editor we go with the new map, Cam Lao Nam, which is basically Cambodia, Vietnam, and Laos. You got everything from Hanoi, Saigon, Wei, Da Nang. The whole Mekong, it's its basically a very condensed map. And you got a really, some really cool things in it. Like this. Oh yeah. Oh look, rocks. Nothing there. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Is that a giant tunnel complex? Absolutely. And these are actually placeable, too. There are up in here somewhere. Tunnel. Right here. The whole tunnel complex, I can add more if I want to. Just a bunch of different really cool things. Something I've, I've wa definitely wanted a lot more of. Tunnel access for the map. A lot of really cool stuff. Very mountainous terrain. Not, you know, there's a lot of open areas. The villages look really cool. Um, a lot of little hidden things. I've been looking around here and there trying to find a lot more hidden stuff. Um, been having a hard time. Some of this stuff is very well hidden. A lot of really cool, like, look, there's another cave complex up here. Again, yep, another tunnel complex, done. Um, a lot of the Ho Chi Minh Trail area. Let's go down to the Ridge. Just a lot of really cool stuff. The terrain is very awesome. Probably one of the coolest ones from the Vietnam era, for sure. Um, as you can see, there's just, like, tons of areas for SA2s and things like that. All up on this ridge line. Let's go on over to Pak Noi. The little village area, which overlooks some really cool stuff. Can overlook a lot of Foi Noi. Things like that. And this is all North Vietnam right up in here. The areas that this is. And then we can go on over to Hanoi. So you got all the areas, so you can see the bomb craters where they try to take out infrastructure and things like that. North Hanoi, um, military bases everywhere, lots of key infrastructure areas to start targeting with bombs and things like that. Then you got all this cool stuff out here by Chai, I think I'm saying it right. I'm probably butchering half these names. Oh, look, a downed, a downed F4, that's pretty cool. That's a nice little Easter egg right there. This map is very, very large. A lot of really very varied stuff. Uh, way. And then you got the Citadel over here and Way. Just a bunch of different camps and stuff. Paradise Island over here. Uh, North Vietnam, Gia Lam Air Base in North Vietnam. Lots of really cool areas. Lots of wilderness out here. Uh, plain of jars. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Um, what else? Sianuk. It's a lot of really cool terrain out here. A lot of, a lot of little VC camps and shit like that. Lots of Maxwell Field over here. Just a lot of really cool scenarios are going to be able to get built out of here. Saigon. Still loading in. And then Da Nang. The radars and stuff like that. Marble Mountain. Just 
all kinds of really cool stuff. Uh, lots of little fire support bases hidden all around and things like that. The map itself, super 10 out of 10. I really think it's the better one we've gotten. Better than all the, the unsung ones for sure. Lots of really cool things in it. And uh, we're going to go show off some, some units and some different things that I really like. One thing I really enjoy is you can hear people running through the jungle now. Listen. Still hear their movement ever so subtly. One of the cool immersive features of it, you can actually just hear that. You can hear talking of the AI. They've actually stopped moving, which is why you don't hear them anymore. You hear talking of the AI. There's a lot more, you know, feeling like you're really in a jungle. And actually kind of helps with the immersion quite a bit. One of the cool things that they add that I really like is the tracker module. Now, what that is, is basically it'll designate certain AI that will track you uh, following, you know, following through the, the jungle and things like that as you make your way through it because of telltale signs or like footprints and things like that. They will track you through and follow you. So basically, you're being hunted by these trackers if you're behind enemy lines with this module. Um, you can throw them off by going in the water. I have done that before, and it is actually in the single player with the trackers following you. You can actually leave booby traps behind, um, so that way once they track you, they'll find the booby traps and set them off. There's a lot of really cool things that they've done with um, the modules and things like that, which we'll show off in another video, including tunnel entrances and the guest uh, gestures is another really cool thing that we'll show off here in a minute. Another really cool thing that they added is the gesture system, which you bring up just by tab. Once it's here, I can hit to regroup. Tells everybody to regroup. Move out. And even here, I can just be like, hey, everybody freeze. Lots of really cool things with it that you can do. Um, looking forward to kind of seeing it in action uh maybe on some multiplayer servers because it seems like it notifies everybody haven't really tried it in co-op yet but it's a really cool system when it comes to the u.s side of things um they're not as many vehicles as that you get with the unsung mod uh you do get your your pt boats but these are all really well done models compared to the unsung mod you get the 105 artillery a bunch of different jeeps including this armored one 50 cal one these all look pretty good then your big old five-ton armored gun trucks with like mini guns on them, um, and then of course the quad-mounted AA. You also get a ton of different Hueys, um, all kinds of different Hueys. There are not min that many uh, choices. You don't get the CH-53, you don't get the CH-46, CH-47. Um, you know, there's just a good half of the choppers that are available with Unsung. The OH-6 variants also. No silent, no silent variant of it, unfortunately. The AH-1s, which are really good. These are all really well done models. The interiors are amazing, so they're way better looking than, than the Unsung variant. Uh, the Heavy Hog, or, yeah, this is the, the Hornet. Then, of course, the, the 34 um, with its little gun mounts and stuff like that. Um, you only get F4s, the F4, B, and Cs, but there are tons of different variants of them when it comes to weapons. Including napalm, early uh, laser guided bombs, willy peat, rock eyes, a lot of really cool weapon systems on them. And these look, I mean, the models on them look great. Uh, and then for tanks, you just get the bulldog, um, which is pretty well done. So definitely not the, the crazy amount of vehicles that you get with the unsung, but there's a good uh, variation of them. But let's go and uh, see what we get for the NVA. Now, the NVA and the VC do have access to. A good bit of vehicles, but nothing like the Unsung mod. Of course, you got your little tiny boats with your gun crews on them. Your big riverine boats with, like, all kinds of, uh, what is this? The, uh, the Shiatsu or Shantau, which has some pretty cool stuff. You also get SA-2s with controllable radar. Um, so you can be the radar operator and fire off the SA-2s and things like that, which is super, super, super cool. Then your ZPUs, your, what, 85mm artillery, BRDMs, transport trucks with eight, uh, SA-2s, MI-2s, helicopters, 
uh, different variants of them with guns and rockets and things like that. And a Type 83, I think. Yeah, Type 63 tank. And then, of course, AT missiles. You get your spider holes and things like that. Uh, no enemy air, no MiGs or anything like that, which I thought was kind of weird. Um, that you don't even at least get a MiG-21, MiG-17, anything like that. No enemy air. Uh, so it looks like you're going to have to go for the unsung mod for things like that. But the SA-2 is a super nice touch, um, you know, to add to it. It's just the air on both sides is super lacking compared to the unsung, which kind of stinks. Um, but overall, some really cool vehicles on the NVA and VC side. All right, so we're going to take a look at everything in the arsenal, weapons, uh, different you know, explosives, um, not all the uniforms because, well, that's just going to take forever because there are a lot of uniforms. But, of course, everything looks so much better, way better models, you know, looks great character models and weapons and things like that. Let's start off. We're going to start off with the main weapons. We'll go by mod. Um, of course, we have the XM177s, of course, with the grenade launchers and things like that. Um, got all the different ones with different optics, 3x9, 3 in the starlight scope, probably none that are suppressed. Um, type 56, come on, we got to. The Sten, which can be suppressed and is super quiet. The SKS with the grenade launcher attachment. Uh, there are, there is also melee with these guns. You can melee with your primary gun, um, your primary weapon in this. SKS with its own optic, probably not suppressed. RPDs, the different RPD variants. Um, PPSH-41, 52, 43, PK, MP-40, the MAC-10, which also is suppressed. Oh, that's a tiny suppressor variant of it. Ooh, ooh. MAT-49, the, MAT, the other MAT-49 folded, the other MAT-49. Ooh, this one's the suppressed variant. Oh, that's kind of cool. The M91, then we got the M79, the M63, all the different M60 variants. Oh, Lord, I just lost my place. And then the M49, which should have its own scope. No, the M4956 does. Um, M40 sniper rifle, which also can have a starlight scope and a suppressor. Maybe a bipod? Nope, camo wrap. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, grease gun, M38, the M3 old school night vision. M2 with the rifle grenade and a scope. Oh, cool. Um, the 1897, the 1891, the M16 grenade launcher, different M16 variants. They all come with the starlight scope also and can be suppressed. Uh, M14s, the M1s, the M45s, which can also have their own suppressor but with no scope. The K50, the Isaiah, uh, I can never say this thing's name, the 54 shotgun, DP-27, the pizza boy. That's about it for main stuff. The launchers, though, uh, we have Strellas, the B-40, B-41, flare launcher, and the law. Handguns, a lot, a lot of flashlight pistols, um, because there's a lot of tunnel stuff. Sawed-off shotguns, revolvers, 1911s. Uh, short barrel, grenade launchers, different things like that, TTs, well rods. Uh, uniforms, just tons of different awesome looking uniforms that go for both sides. And vests the same way too. Got a bunch of different stuff. Uh, headgear, all your pilot helmets, your cool little helmets with stuff written on them and things like that. Facewear, got your bandanas and things like that. No night vision goggles. Lots of starlight binoculars. Of course, you got your maps and things like that. And your radios, feed, field telephones, and things like that. Uh, let's go on over here. Tons of different ammo. Um, tons of different grenades, smoke grenades, frags, uh, CS gas, smoke, Willie Pete, incendiaries, Molotovs, explosives. You got a bunch of different breaching charges, uh, booby-trapped ammo boxes, toe poppers, anti-tank mines, mines with trip wires, bounding mines, claymores, proximity, um, lots of different trip wire stuff. Uh, pungies, of course. This is Vietnam, you're going to have your pungies. And then miscellaneous stuff, your trap kit, tool kits, wiretap set, and first aid kits. So that's all, basically all the gear. Not as much as you get with Unsung, but still quite a bit. 
Well, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the new units, gear, and stuff that comes with Prairie Fire, the new DLC. Overall, I love the map. It's super cool. The new look and models of everything is super awesome. I'm a little disappointed in the lack of air vehicles. There should be intruders, F-105s, MiG-21s, MiG-17s, or even a carrier. Uh, but you can supplement all that stuff with the Unsung mod, which is probably what I'm going to do is run both of these together because, well... It, it just a, it's just a really great fit. Uh, overall, definitely a buy. If you own Arma 3 and you don't get this or buy it or run it, well, you suck. <laughs> so we're going to be doing a lot of stuff with this. I can't wait for Liberations and some of the missions that are going to come out that run this, uh, run this DLC. It's going to be super awesome. Anyways, boys, I hope you enjoyed, and we'll have some more Sog Prairie Fire out for you shortly.